All right, another quick update on this, the latest uh, emergency power pack uh, or solar generator. I know a lot of people hate the solar generator thing, but you know, it's a power pack, solar power pack, right? Um, if you don't know uh, what's happened before this, uh, I'll link the, to the video, last video that I did on this a week ago or whatever. Um, yeah, you can see the problems that I was having. Here's the answer. Yes, it was the load. Many of you guys pointed out that it was the load that was all over the place. It was dirty in the, uh, you know, the signal, the DC signal, and that was making the, these guys go all over the place. Uh, if you use these without that giant inverter that I had here, then it actually operates uh, nice. It doesn't, it doesn't oscillate all over the place and the voltages are all weird, right? So these are useful still. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna use them yet. I still haven't made up my mind, but here's the new challenge. The new challenge uh, is that, well, I wanna make this sim simple to make and easy to build and also cheap, right? To affordable. So this is right here. This is a 20 amp power battery pack, right? So it's about 500, watt hour so about half a kilowatt hour uh here is okay this is a counter it was zero and then i charged it all the way up so then it was uh 20 amp hours right or twenty thousand milliamp hours and then uh it's been discharging so it should have been what 73 let me see does that make even sense? I don't know if that makes sense anymore. I think it lost, so it's 7,000. I think it was got, got disconnected, so it, it's no longer keeping track. Anyways, it's losing a bunch of, uh, what I was, which was trying to show you here is that it's losing a bunch of energy just sitting here. And the reason why it's losing energy is of course, because well, one, this thing is on, right? But uh, this is after this meter right here so i it's not even recording that right but you know the the cells are in like four days they're you know they're at nominal here so here's what i'm gonna do here is the uh here is the uh inverter that i want to use and the reason i chose this is because uh it was it's cheap right it's like 30 bucks uh, and it works on 12 volts and it works on 24 volts. So this is a 24 volt battery. So it's good. And it has four USBs already here, which are really, really useful for most people, right? Like if you want in an emergency situation, you know, what do you want? You need mostly like lights and you need, uh, you know, communication. So that means charging your laptop or charging your phone and stuff like that, right? And so these work for all of that, you know? And then, you know, for the light or for any other little thing up to 300 watts here, this one, you can use the, the AC. And the AC is separate. You just turn it on here and then it gives you AC or you turn it off and it's only the DC side here, right? It's great, it's small, it's cheap. Uh, it's easy to install it here. All I did was drill three little holes and then installed it there, great. Except for one problem. This is part of the reason why it's losing, uh, the battery's losing charge, right? Because here we go. Right, you hear that? It goes from 12 to 24. So in order to operate on 24 volts, it has to energize some kind of like relay. And that's always on. So if I leave it connected here, then, uh, it's using energy. I mean, it's using energy to, to light up this little thing and then to keep those live, right? How much energy? Well, let's see if we can if we can check how much energy is being used, right? Here we go. Let's take this guy. Ah, man, I can't believe I did that. Okay. Okay. Really? Come on, man. So I think what I have to do is turn this guy on. I turned the, uh, oh, I don't think that's working. Okay, here we go. Here we go, so I just turned on the inverter and as you've seen, 
0.33 amps, right? Which equals about eight watts. You know, and eight watts, I mean, that's that's not a lot, right? For being on idle or whatever. But when you turn on the, uh, I just turned off the inverter. Look at that, okay, so then just to have the USB on, then that's 1.0 amps, right? So about three watts, it's showing two, three, it's, you know, going back and forth or whatever. If you do the math at three watts on a 500 watt uh, hour battery, that's about seven days. In about seven days, this thing will be completely dead, right? And so now, um that's that's not you know that won't work so now i have to like either put a connector that you can disconnect and keep it disconnected until you can you want to use it or what we can do is use a um a switch so there's a few ways to do this uh i want to install a a voltage meter in here so that you know you know so that you know where the voltage is at i don't like not knowing where it's at right um and then I thought maybe I can just put a switch, right? You put a switch here and you put it on thing and then it just disconnects this. Except that, you know, in order to, I mean, this is a 20 amp switch and I guess at 24 volts, right? That's about, yeah, that's about 500 watts. So this would support this load, this particular load, but any other load that you would put here, it probably fry it, right? Cause the battery is, well, the battery is capable of 500 watts but no more than that. Any more than that, then it starts getting in trouble. It starts kind of overheating. So maybe this switch is great. Um, I don't know. So I was thinking that maybe this thing is not the greatest because it uses energy and you have to disconnect it. Um, and then uh, I thought maybe we just need to put a, uh, you know these guys in here right because you can get some of these and then put them on the box itself you don't have to adjust this and if you want an inverter then you can put it on later like an external inverter instead of having one that's attached here but the problem with these is that they're too deep and we don't have that kind of room right here as you guys can see and so you know these are great because these are short and they want to add um so what i'm thinking is maybe i'm going to use one of these blocks right these are you know made for 12 volts to and it also supports 24 so if i cut that i can then you know put it in here and then i can put that on top you know like glue it on top of the, of the box there and then you have your you know your usbs that you need uh and hopefully that won't use as much power as that other thing you know at idle so yeah what do you guys think? Do you have any suggestions? Have you guys ever seen a small inverter that I can put in here? I thought this was great, but this is literally the first one that I saw on Amazon and I ordered it. If you guys have done any uh, uh, builds like this and you have put an inverter outside of the box because it doesn't fit on the inside, uh, do, you, do you think it's a good idea to have it always on board here even though you might not want to use it because uh, the size of this battery pack i don't know if it's the most useful you might just you know use the usbs mostly right because in usbs even if you go like this with the uh i might be able to find a usb c that can support like higher you know 100 watt you know loads like a like a you know like a laptop or any of the stuff fast charging on some of the phones it's and stuff so maybe that we can go with something like that because then it would be much smaller right instead of this giant box here it would be this this thing glued on the top there or double-sided tape or something uh and it might be more useful for this size so of course this is remember this is a small half a kilowatt box uh that is for emergency right so mostly lights communication um and that's that's what this are what this is designed for right and if we can keep you know all that stuff outside you know but mostly that's why i want to keep it uh kind of sealed i know this this was not sealed I, did it come with a little thing yeah maybe this is not the best and i thought it did come with like a little thing that you can put on there and seal it uh and maybe i just didn't put it on but that that's the one that you would use to you know charge the uh solar panels 
or you can charge using just a little you know power supply like this anyways this is uh, just a little update uh, post it in the comments if you have any suggestions as to what other product I should use instead of this one that maybe doesn't use a lot of power or maybe has a switch that turns the entire thing off and it doesn't drain my battery um, but anyways I'm getting really close to finishing this one I just yeah I just want to get it right this time because I know a lot of time, a lot of the old other products that I've done in the past you know I've, I've gotten it you know maybe not perfect and I wish I could have changed and you know mess around more with the components and you know test it a little bit more so this time I'm just kind of taking my time but uh, I, I do want to release this because it's, it's timely right now right a lot of people are looking for these things to build and by the way um, these are gonna be available now already put together like this so this is gonna be really easy to put together um, and hopefully you know really affordable more affordable than whatever you can get half you know half a kilowatt in uh, power pack that you can get in Amazon you can probably get this for for less um, I haven't run the numbers yet but that's the goal anyway so anyways that's an update thank you for watching this video we'll see you guys in the next one okay bye